I feel like something needs to be said because after last week's episode, we had a few comments about social distancing and us hugging and high-fiving and going about our normal business. Last week's episode was filmed months ago, way before this coronavirus pandemic outbreak, whatever you want to call it. Luckily, we had somewhat of a mild winter, enough that I got out a handful of times and banked a good amount of footage, hopefully enough to get us through this thing. I guess time will tell. Current day, I haven't personally dug a hole in weeks, and I'm going stir-crazy like most of you. We need to stick together through this thing. Hopefully, it passes sooner than later. Hope you guys are staying healthy. God bless. Enjoy this week's episode. I do have a few on the bank before this whole thing started. That's all I got for you. Enjoy. This week on the Hoover Boys. That's a 90. That's a 90. Be a big silver. Or a nice fat old copper. Oh, <laughs> big fat old copper. That'll work. It's a crazy, cold, very cold, windy day. We came and met up with our good friends, Paul and Charlie. Me and Billy, and Billy and I took the ride today. Right now we're at a location where an old school used to sit and we might try some fields over there where there's some colonial houses that aren't there anymore, just farm fields. But uh, we have a few finds here, so let's get them on video. What you got there, Billy boy? I got like a crusty looking. I'm assuming an Indian. Yeah, I don't think I'm taking my gloves off today. Yeah, yeah it's absolutely an Indian. Yeah, I see. There's the one cent. Yeah. The uh, the farm field haven't. Did I just? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I flipped it and I didn't. I'm so that was an Indian. Bro, I'm wearing two sweatshirts, long down shirts, and three pairs of socks right now. It's it's nasty out here. Yeah. Paul's got a coin too, I believe. Yeah. Ugh. Right it was. I know. You need a probe? Hey, look at that! <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, you see it? Yeah, see it right on the sidewalk. Oh, yeah. You gonna get her out of there? Yeah. It's a nickel. Definitely nickel size. Mm. Hopefully, it's better than his Indian. Oh, it's, get, it's getting orange now. I think it might be a V, but I don't want to rub too hard. Because you know how they are. You right, wipe the details right off. <laughs> Don't stop moving. I think that's a V sign. Uh -oh. Right? Hey, Absolutely, it's a V nickel. Yeah. Awesome. So we know this place is at least 1890s. Yeah, late 1800s. Well, it was on the 1860 map, the schoolhouse was. The school was here in 1860. Yeah. That's awesome. Hopefully there's some seeds in here. 1977 might be there too. Oh, buddy. Well, I don't know if we're going to be able to make out a date on any Indians that they all look like Billy's. <laughs> Was that one that bad? Oh, it's 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 not a good one. They're all good ones, but well, you could say that's an 1877. Somebody find some silver so we can read a date. So Charlie got a vehicle. Paul, I think, got a weedy. I got a buff. I just flipped out another coin. It looks nice and fat, so I'm thinking flying eagle or fatty Indian. It's a big old fat thing. So unbelievably fat for a small scent. This ground is frozen today. Yeah, it's a flying eagle. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, it is. Just like that. <laughs> I don't know if I dug one of these at all last year. I know Bobby's never dug one. You've never dug one, Billy? No. Dang it. You should have beeped over this one. It's no doubt a flying eagle. I'm going to put my hand back in my glove. Hopefully it cleans up a little bit later. Flying eagle. I'm going to take a shot in the dark so it's a two cent piece. Mid to low 70s. Beeps like a two cent piece. We're in the right date range for them. Whatever it is, I have it up on edge now. Huh. 
it's gonna be a weed eater in Indian. Small scent. Oh, I don't want to take my gloves off. What are you, little copper? It's an Indian. And it looks like an 1883. They are drying up fast today. But there's plenty of coins in here. Still looking for the first silver. Who's gonna find the first silver? You never know. I've got a little flat button. And Billy's got a button. Oh, Billy's got a bigger button. Big button Billy. You get the one of them Tombacks? Yep. That's a big old Tomback. Ooh. Care if I check for design? Sure. Oh, that, that, that's a cold button. Uh -huh. I do not believe you have a design, but... Still a cool button. Nice, uh, is it spun back? Probably late 1700s. I can't tell if it's spun back or not. I got the little D too. You got the little D? I got a tiny D. Yeah, well, I'm sure you've heard that before. Yeah. And my piece of skirtle. No, oh, you did get some skirtle bell. About 30% of a curdle bell. Yeah. They find a lot of curdle bells up here. I'd like to find a whole one today. I hope you do, buddy. I feel like a ventriloquist. Even I, though I don't have a puppet. Yeah, it's cold. It's warming up. A little bit. Meat. How's your meat stick, Billy? Good. <laughs> you got the meat sticks we got from package time. We're changing it up. We're going over here to this field, driving through the field. <laughs> yeah, um, there's still a wall still standing right there, so obviously there was a house back here. And this is a nice, beautiful bean field, so this should be fun. They may have been detected before, but who cares? It's old. Hopefully there's still some good things to be found. <laughs> Meat stick Billy. Check this out. It's actually more standing than I thought it was from the road. That is incredible. This place is early. Look, there's there's a couple bricks in the in the rock work too. That is so awesome. We do have the uh, the bottle probe with us. This probably isn't too smart. <laughs> awesome. Check that out. So we might probe around, see if we can find any sort of dump too. This is so cool. A lot of pain and love into this place. All right, let's get the beeping. What's up, Billy? Billy's making animal noises. What's up, Billy? You probably found a piece of broken glass. Here's my first notable find back here. It'd be funny if it's an Indian, because that's all we were finding this morning. <laughs> You'll never believe it, Billy. Dude, when your shovel sinks so fast down. You got a privy? I'm pretty sure we got a privy. I have an 1904 Indian. This place has got to be older than 1904. <laughs> we believe it's 1720s. That's not a bad looking little Indian. Alright, on to the older stuff. So after my Indian here, I got two more Indians here. They're all beautiful. I got two flat buttons, a whole bunch of organ reeds. And uh, looks like Charlie's got a big copper. So let's go check that out. Too legit to quit? Oh yeah, Charlie. Good job. Thank you so Boop. much. I worked hard to get that today so far. Well, they don't always jump out of the ground here. I'll bring it up yeah. to you. Okay. The uh, Indians I've been finding have been in beautiful condition. So, so oh yeah. That's going to be... Yeah. That's old. Nice I'm going to pass it on to my it looks old US, friend here. Don't it? it? Looks like old U.S. She's always good at rubbing it. Can you see that? I'm going to call King George the first just because of that really? rim. Oh, yeah, that's, that's Britannia kinda, coming through. Yeah, that's a KG1. Look at it around. Isn't that what I just said? Oh, did you say one? <laughs> I, heard you, I heard you say KG. I didn't hear you say what, what kind. Well, flip. Did you flip it? You did. Yeah. All right, let's get some. Oh, yeah, it's King yeah, George yeah. the First. Nice! 
That's that's the same age as his house, 300 years old. That's what we're looking for. Bingo. It's an old building. And no doubt about it. That is King George the Foist. That's way back. Huh? Yeah, that's early, early 1700s. The reverse is cleaned up quite nice. You can make out at least three digits to the date. It's a 17 something one, so I'm going to guess it's a 1721, which makes it 299 years old. Wow. <laughs> How cool is that? A coin that's 300 years old. Wow. That's awesome, Charlie. Well, thank you so much. And uh, yeah, I'm... that's Pistarine range. Somebody's got to find a two reals Pistarine. That'd be great. Thank you, Charlie. I'm happy for you. <laughs> you guys, you got something, Billy? Uh oh. I found the key to the house, so that's my coin. Oh, did you find the key to the house? Alright. Look at that thing. That thing looks early. I've never seen teeth like that. That's almost like a buck tooth key right there, buddy. That is cool, Billy boy. I know, I wish it was whole. I think I'm gonna get my uh my little coil out. I'm 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 getting the signals through the iron with a big coil, but there's too much iron for it. I'm hearing them, but I'll hear them better with the little one. A lot of iron myself. Good job. Well you got the monster coil on there. Good job. Well, I went back to get my little coil. Something pretty solid in here in the iron. Pretty high, too. Ugh. Right on the edge of the field, between the field and... That's a 90. That's a 90. Be a big silver. Or a nice, fat, old copper. Oh. <laughs> Big fat old copper. That'll work. This is my first signal in the iron with the little coil. I got a copper. It's gonna be a large scent. Large scent. No doubt about it. One scent. Unfortunately, it's not as pretty as Charlie's. Can't tell if it's a braided hair or a matron. It almost looks like a braided hair now. Yeah, it's a braided hair, that big fat wreath. That's why I was beefing it at a 90. But check out some of these Indians I've been pulling out of here. These are the three from this site. That 78 was a one wiper. There's the first one and there's another one. Pretty cool sight so far. Billy's freaking out. <laughs> you alright, buddy? You found a big green rock? Dude. I don't think it's broke. It may be. We might be overreacting, but look at this thing. Holy it's, cow! Look at it! <laughs> I just popped the copper up in the air. Oh no, it's moving. It's moving. Uh, oh! oh. 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 I was all excited for You got one. half the bell. I got half the bell, but I'm happy. Let me look see. The size of that thing, dude. Yeah. Big old bell. Screaming at me. Oh, it's a. It's the number side. Seven or something, oh, maybe? Oh, gosh. Or is that a Z? <sighs> oh man, I don't care. I'm happy. <laughs> Freaking out. Find a complete one now. I know. Charlie finds like eight a day. So you can find one, right? <laughs> Charlie just came over and handed me this. You think this is a ring? Absolutely, I think that was a ring. I do not believe it's going to be a precious metal. But I do believe that's going to be a very early ring. And it almost looks like it has writing in there, but it just looks like designs. I don't think there's actually letters or words or numbers or anything. That is awesome. Yeah, thank you. I wasn't quite sure I had to come over and ask the expert. <laughs> I wouldn't call me an expert, but I've seen a few things in my day. We moved again. We've literally been going farm to farm to farm. Check this place out. And there's, there's, there's some ruins over there. Possibly could have been the starter home, but... This place is 1766. Yeah. Absolutely incredible. You ready to get after it? Hopefully, it's in all filled dirt. Billy's doing a dance. You haven't found a gold coin yet, bro? What? Billy bottles. Well, I started to lose faith. Um, they went up in the woods and found the bottle dump, but it was all like 1970s. In the yard here, um, I did get a pewter spoon bowl, but. It's been all memorials. I did get a weedy, and I finally have something old here. It looks like a keeper. It's been a very loud yard, though. Looks like a knee buckle. 
and it's complete. At least the frame is. Yep, it's a complete frame. Get that better in the sun. Oh, that's a thick one too. That is awesome. That's the right stuff there. The sun's going down fast. We'll look at it in a wrap up. That is beautiful. Nice colonial knee buckle. Could be a kid's shoe buckle, but probably a knee buckle. It's about a size. I dipped in the field across from the house. Really loud, high tone here. Just in case we'll live it. Yeah, it's loud. I got my headphones on. No sound for you. Whatever it is, it's right there and it's probably gonna be big. And <gasps> belt plate or cal tag? Belt plate or cal tag? Cal tag. <laughs> uh, I look like a Civil War buckle. Looks like I have 29. I haven't found one of them in a while. <laughs> they stop your heart every time they pop out though. Ugh. We've been bouncing all over the place today. We came back to the second place with the uh, the old ruins in the woods here. Me and Billy decided to walk up there to try it out there. And uh, Paul and Charlie came over here and Polly has a copper. Finally. Finally. Finally I got one. I was on top of the hill so he left it in the hole for me. So we'd see what it is together. We must have buried it deeper than he thought. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> Oh yeah, buddy. Just give me an ID. Be on there. Be something. Oh, it looks, looks like a thin one. Looks thick though. Really? <laughs> it looks thick? No, I meant uh, <laughs> big, like a big, big one. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Kind of like, uh, you know how like a classic head gets? Yeah. Bus facing to the left. <laughs> King George II. <laughs> <laughs> We do have Britannia on this side. Nice mid 1700s copper coin. Paul has that face because he finds these quite often. Yeah, <laughs> I could go for Charlie's KG1 for a change. <laughs> Everybody who thinks Paul's jaded, give this video a thumbs down. I want to see how many thumbs down I can get on this video. For what? <laughs> for being jaded. Oh, I'm jaded. <laughs> It's awesome, man. No, it's fun to even find a copper. I no, absolutely. I, I love finding copper. It's just funny when you get like stuck in KG2 land or Matron I'm land. Bill's or... stuck in clad today. Yeah, Bill's stuck in clad land. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on over here, fellas? Well, I dug a hole there. I had a signal there and nothing. So before I left, I took two steps and right and see it. Oh, hello. There you go, Charlie. Good job. There's more coins here than we thought there was going to be, huh? Yeah. More old coins. So what's the secret here, guys? Just like rub it here like this? Yeah, just get the dirt off. Have something. Be nice to Charlie. <laughs> oh no, we might have to go to plan B, the other side. There's something there coming up through there. Actually, what is that there? Looks like a, a head. Uh... It's uh, a green one. Uh, oh no, it's thin like paper. <laughs> <laughs> if we get an idea, we'll cut back in. If not, we're running out of time. Good job, Charlie. Thank you. <laughs> Very nice. It's my second copper today. Yeah, buddy. Well, unfortunately, Billy and I have to get on the road as we're doing a wrap up when the sun's still in the sky. But I wanted to say a uh, little shout out to uh, Steve. Paul has a friend named Steve and he makes detector rods. SteveDetectorRods.com. Carbon fiber detector rods. He sent us some out for the uh, AT series. I got the black carbon fiber. Billy got the green. Maxine's never looked better. <laughs> and this is uh, the red one on the Equinox. And that's Steve's detector rods. If you want to check them out and if you want to pimp your metal detector, check it out. Pretty sweet deal. And uh, here's the board for the day. But first, we got to show the trash. That's a heavy bucket, and that's just not. That's not all of it. You got a bucket in your I, truck. Yes, I do. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Billy boy. Billy was stuck in Cladland, unfortunately. Any Wheaties in here, buddy? Uh, one in 
Indian. Oh, you did get an Indian. Cool. He's got that really early buck tooth key. A few buttons, including a tom back. A couple nice pieces of crotal bell. A lead button. You got a lead button. You got the little D in there. D's not complete without that. And uh, this is Polly. You got some bells and reeds and his little car. You got a V nickel. A couple Indians. A weedy. This King George II that he keeps thinking is going to be a Connecticut copper when he cleans it up. Uh, Charlie got a couple musket balls. You got that really early ring, a V nickel, uh, Indian, and a weedy. Here's the coin he just dug. You can see Britannia coming out. I think it's a KG2 or KG3. But that's no doubt King George the First. There's all my organ reeds and other musical instruments. I got a cow tag, some uh, early spoon pieces. There's my little pile of buttons. I got a buffalo nickel, four Indians, but I got a zinc and a memorial, a weedy, an Indian, a flying eagle, and a large scent. There's my favorite find of the day, that early buckle. Probably a knee or a kid's shoe buckle frame. Great day, guys. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, we didn't share this. What is this? It's filled with money. <laughs> Did you ever? No, I'm going to do it when I get home. Yeah, it was definitely a, a kid's piggy bank, so hopefully there's a, a mark in there for you. That'd be nice. He yeah. found that in front of the uh, the house we were at before this mm -hmm. field. So that's cool. If if they're uh, if that turns out to be anything inside of there, we'll we'll, we'll cut back in or do something after this. But uh, until next week, help clean up the ground, dig it all, and take your trash with you. Bye, Charlie. All holes matter. Yes, sir. <laughs> Let me zoom in on KG one. Getting a little hung up in the uh, beanstalks, but that could definitely be a colonial copper. Mid-70s, kind of bottle cappy. That's not cool, it's a bullet. Is it on edge? Another bullet. Go Bailey, go! Go Bailey, go! Look at that. Go Bailey, yeah. go! I love it. Ugh. Oh Bailey. Show me something good, Bailey. Get her, Bailey! <laughs> oh Bailey. Oh no! I just live dug two of those! Uh. That's not cool! Looks like a lot of pieces. Oh, I can't even sack there you. Mm. You have to sack yourself. It's just not right. Ooh, that's a, that's a cold button. Got the little D too. You got the little D? I got a tiny D. Yeah, well, I'm sure you've heard that before.